Hey again guys, I'm uh, getting things all topsy-turvy and starting at the end again. You can see here with what I worked out, I took a couple saplings I grabbed from the mainland and made a nice reliable little tree farm. More than enough wood for what needs doing. I also made this to do which is mostly decorative but this is for when I do get a nice supply of bone meal in I can just grow trees up quick I'll have one in the middle and this will grow same as those out there I just finished this though so it ha and it's nighttime so it hasn't had a chance yet I am going to get on to the nice little tutorial about tree farms. But I gotta do gotta do something fun first. Free weed, oh yeah. Cow explosion Hey guys, so here's my quick and easy tree farm in mushroom land tutorial. Mushroom biomes are pretty hard to build in. You can punch the dirt about as fast with the uh, mycelium growing on it, but that was me with the diamond shovel. It can get pretty tedious when you're working with a large area. There's two ways around this. One, you can just place your blocks on top. That's quick, it's easy, not too much of a pain in the butt. As you can see, the diamond pick is, m well, sorry, diamond shovel is much, much faster on normal dirt. Um, in fact, if, number two, if you are going to work on this, you can punch it out and put your blocks in. Three, and this is my favorite, if you pour water on the ground, see if I can get that up, and you leave it overnight in the morning, and the sun's all busy rising, the ground will be nice and bare and clear, and you can work on getting your tree farm set up. Problem number two. Mycelium, as you may have noticed in my previous video, does not care for saplings. And I'll pop some down right by the edge here and I'm sure you'll get to see it now that the sun's up. So as you saw in that time lapse where I went and got myself a delicious soda, we're still going for it, my psyllium is pretty persistent. Now it's possible that a tree will grow before the mycelium kicks in, but that's nothing you want to count on for a tree farm. I forgot to bring an axe. Now that I've knocked down those trees. Another point you might want to consider when you're building is that the mycelium will spread upwards diagonally. However, it won't spread across a non-dirt square to get to your dirt square. That in this case we're going to have in the middle here. It can be something as simple as grabbing some cobble. I'm not going to place cobble. E. Or say some nice 
double stacked stone slabs. Which I think look very nice. And just by doing that, you'll have a place where you can plant your trees and grow them with your bone meal. Now even in this configuration, I'm going to show something that I do with all my tree farms that really is a key to making them quick and convenient. Go one, three, five, seven, eight, nine squares. We're one over from the spot where we want our tree to grow. Now if we have a piece of glass here, it'll allow the sunlight to get through to help the tree grow, but the tree won't turn into a giant monster tree that you can't reach its upper branches and you have to dig around through leaves to find everything. It'll just make a nice medium tree and might have one or two blocky branches right next to the trunk. But it'll be as easy as going in, looking up, and chopping, even as big as it can get. Now this is a design we'll want to duplicate for our larger tree farm that we're working on. Once again, it's just as simple as getting your dirt block in, placing whatever sort of border you want so that the mycelium can't grow. and then place in your glass block 9 above. Once you're finished, you may want to put up protection from roving mobs or monsters. You could do a whole lot to decorate this. You could have a dome, you could have, well, pretty much anything. It's like anything you build in Minecraft. It's what you make of it. It'll also allow your trees to grow during the night if you do place some torches around them and give you a little illumination to see by too. Another option is to place glowstone, which since I'm just starting over I don't have yet. Either here or as part of the border. I would not recommend using netherrack and fire. Though I did have a successful one wide bone meal using pine tree farm that used that. If the pine tree got too big because you can't use the glass square with them, the uh, netherrack fire would burn whatever was left over and I could just keep growing them. It's pretty sweet. That's just me though. There's a lot of different methods you can try, there's a lot of things you can do. Here I'm going to build a biodome with grass and wheat. I'm going to have animal farms over there. Hopefully I'll be able to automate them. And even without bone meal, I'm going to pretty quickly get a nice supply of wood whenever I need it. <laughs> a little too close. Not too close though. And I'll, and I'll do it with a lot more ease and convenience than manually digging through all these or having trees sprout up that are way too high and that I need to stack blocks to get on into just to get everything I man I don't know if I'm good at these tutorials I'm much better at ra wandering around doing random things the um grass is coming along fine I did find on the wiki that Grass and mycelium don't overrun each other, so if you care to bring in grass from an entirely different biome and put it in an area like this, say, and just plant your trees in there, that would work as well. The wiki isn't always the best, though, so I'm going to double check that just in case. 
But for now, that's it. This place really is shaping up. I hope that it becomes something even cooler than it is now soon and that y'all can enjoy it. Uh, like if you liked it. Subscribe. I can always use more more viewers. It really encourages me to get cool stuff out. I'm just going to look at the sunrise and wish you all a wonderful Minecraftian day.